Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and in this video, we are going to be doing a very, very nice 1 million schmackaroonies, 1 million pack opening, and we're gonna hopefully pull some pretty cool freaking stuff. So, the idea behind this video is that I am going to be, um, testing out the packs. Because I had a comment sent, but first we're also going to talk about this. Racing royalty, I got kind of screwed over. I have a lot of Bentleys, so maybe we can pull off a snipe and pull a Corvette, Ultima GTR maybe. But the real purpose behind this video is I had someone request in the comments, you should, um, like, or no, not a request, they asked a question of, is there a difference between the ceramic, the times 5 ceramic, and the times 10 ceramic? And in stats wise, no. You're going to have the same odds opening 10 single ceramics and one 10 times ceramic or two 5 times ceramics. The odds are all the same. But yeah, as I'm showing right here, these are the cars that I need to get. Ultima GTR, that Corvette, or any of those legendaries. Or also that McLaren Mercedes thingy. But yeah, I'm also just working on some crap too. That Porsche will be maxed out, which will be pretty swag. But yeah, we're in million pack opening. We're going to be testing this theory. See, we're testing it more in the theoretical sense though. Which, in theory, pack will be better? Oh, and we also do need to add three wishlist cars, too. But yeah, we're going to be looking at, in theory, is the times five better, opening two of them? Is the times ten better, opening one of them? Or is ten single ceramic packs better? So we're going to see. First, let's wishlist that Ultima 2 as one of the wishlist cars, since it is one of the snipes I want. And then let's see, what else should we add? Anything interesting? Um, not really. Uh, I guess that Lamborghini is kind of cool. I guess we can wishlist that. Sure. Why not? But yeah, we are going to be testing this theory and seeing which is really the better ceramic pack to open in theory when doing this. Like stats wise, percentage wise, they're all the exact same. No, not in aluminum though. But yeah, we're going to be doing the times tens, the times fives and the singles. So let's start off with 10 single ceramic packs and we will see which one is the best. So here we go. Plymouth XNR. That's my second one. I'll take that. And starting off with a super rare. This is probably how the singles are going to be. Just a lot of supers. But hey, maybe the luck can turn around. So let's see. W really, that was only the first pack. The luck doesn't really need to turn around yet. We're just testing too. We've got a lot of packs to go. That was literally the first pack. Honestly, don't know why I said that. But second pack was also a super rare too. That ran 05. So let's see. Maybe, maybe we can have a bit more luck. Honda Civic Hybrid. Chrysler. Maserati and nope Mini Cooper we're still going down the single super rare route but that's also the third pack we've got still quite a bit more packs to go so Fiat 500 El Dorado Cosmo Alpha single again yep another single super that's four in a row honestly that's a bit luckier than getting just a double super rare getting four single supers in a row let's see if we can do it again Mercedes nope double yeah double there we go the streak ends we did not be able to hit five in a row. We were not able. That is not English, whatever the heck I just said. GMC, Beamer, Chevy, Janetta, and Integra. All right, single super right there. So the single ceramics are not looking too hot right now, which is not that good because, I mean, we want to get good pulls as well. Like, I'd like to have some good pulls in this opening. We're not just doing this for science. I'd also like some good cars to be added to the garage. So, I mean, we are nearing the a third of the way through point. But let's see. Oh, there we go. Porsche 911 Turbo M42. Used to be the Martini. Then they stole his name. But, hey, got that car. Already own it, though, so it's not a new one. That'll be some fused material. My Martini is super old that I have in my garage. I think it's nearing, like, the high 1000s. Like 1,400, I think, days old. It's 323 tuned. So that's how you know it's old. It used to be when 323 for an Ultra Rare was good. So let's see. Because that's the thing. My Ultra Rares reached a shifting point. When, right once I got the Pontiac G8 GXP is when like 233 was like, oh, you guys should 233 your cars. And then that's when everyone started to 233 their cars. There's, oh, didn't even really react to the uh, Ultra Rare because I was kind of just locked in. Like I was just talking about my 233 experience just tapping. And yeah, there's a bar. Already have it though. So that's the thing. That's why there wasn't much of a reaction either to it already have one of them maxed out and the white abarth is better for the same rq so don't really need a second one of that but now what i was saying is it was like sort of at that point when i got my pontiac g at gxp so then it was like two through three was starting to come around then and that car's like a thousand days old but there were a few cars 
before that, like my Martini, my Jaguar XFR Sport Brake and stuff like that. And um, I'm trying to think of what else. Scorpio, all right, jump. Oh! Never mind, let's stop thinking about what else. That is an epic, and we've got one card left. This could be a very promising pack. Maybe the snipe we needed. Let's see if this could be something good. Come on, please. Snipe a Corvette. Corvette, come on. Come on, please, let's see. And let's spin that thing around. Oh, yes, C63 AMG, a new epic. I will happily take a new epic. That is a good looking new epic as well. Dang, that is actually a really good pack looking at it. I was just locked into talking about my ultra rares again. That was a really good pack, two new epics. And that's the thing, I'm gonna keep any new epics I get, so that is a complete success. I will take that Volvo over getting a dupe epic. Unless it would've been like a stupid good epic, but really there's barely any epics that I keep a dupe of because I just keep every epic. So I'm usually gonna have like a better one or just a slightly worse one and there isn't really much need for keeping a dupe. Like I have two Cadillac CT6s and like um two volvo polster hatchbacks but like i rarely keep dupes of cars like that of like high of epics so i will take that volvo that volvo will be a keeper and that mercedes as well that is a great looking car so let's continue on with the second pack i'm gonna stop talking about my ultra rares because kind of keep on missing out on things that keep happening so bmw 420i 520i i mean jump maybe Potential, we're staying at 46. Okay, that's not good. 48, okay, not bad. 48, oh, this is not looking good. Yeah, no, that was not that good of a pack. We did not jump too much, but it's okay because we've got a times 10. So, so far, the times five ceramic packs seem to be the way to go. But it could all change right here with the times 10. Chances aren't that high though. I got the double epic and won five times. But hey, maybe, just maybe. Something could happen. Top drives, gods can work their magic. So let's see. Chrysler 360, Renault Captur, TVR Tasman, Nissan, Citroen, Chrysler, Peugeot, Citroen. I, I don't know why I repeat the names of all these cars in times tens. This is probably like the third time I've said that too. But like it's like I just keep on rambling off the brand of the car and you're like, holy crap, he just said Volkswagen. And you're like, dang. He said Volkswagen when the Volkswagen Passat flipped around. But hey, we are nearing super rare territory now. So let's see. Maybe we could start at 49. Think of how hype a pack would be if it started at 49. Nope, 40. Makes sense. But just the amount of sheer like craziness that would happen if just the first card flipped and that would be 49. That would literally be the greatest pack of all time. But that is probably the chances of that happening are like stupid low. So, maybe we can get a bit lucky, though. BMW 325i. BMW M5. Oh, do want that car. I am happy with that. Chrysler Crossfire. All right, jump. No. Uh-oh. Jump. Hey, I'll take it. 640D. They took away his picture of it doing a cool drift, but at least that picture doesn't suck too much either. And it is a new car. So, that is a new Ultra Rare, unlike the other ones I got. Two Epics, three Ultras. Very happy with those Epics as well. Those Epics are the highlight of the pack opening. We can also squeeze out one more ceramic pack, so let's do that, because why not? Nice little another ceramic pack on top. If we can find it, oh, there it is. All right, maybe the single ceramic pack could be the greatest pack if you open up one more, and it'll drop a double legendary. Let's see. Chrysler, not a double legend, and not even a legend. Mercury Messenger, all right. But we did get two very solid epics and one Keeper Ultra Rare. So I will take it, because I am also working on keeping every Ultra Rare, so that 640D will be added. Keeping every Ultra Rare is a bit harder, though, than keeping every Epic, because you do need to max out or upgrade a lot of Epics quite often to do good in events or collection series or challenges and stuff. And it's a bit easier to just throw three Ultra Rares out the window, because you're just like, well, the chances of getting another Ultra Rare like that or the same one are pretty good. But the chances of pulling an Epic again, it's kind of like, uh, do I really want to get rid of that Epic? Uh, I don't know if I'll keep that Volkswagen or not. I'll just add it for now. But, yeah. Oh, we got some new stuff. All right, Nissan Navara I'll keep. Um, what else should I keep? I mean, all this is kind of just mid. That's the thing. A lot of my lower IQ cars are cars that, like, I'll keep the Volvo, too, because that Volvo's kind of cool. How many? Okay, we should keep five more to hit 2,000. Like, we totally should. Um, but what should we keep? Not that Nissan, that's for sure. We're not keeping that. I don't really want the Celery either. 
Um, I mean, the Kappa could be useful, actually. That Peugeot's cool, the Wing Road's cool. Um, President? I mean, I don't really want it. I don't want that Aston. Q30, no. Well, I guess I need two more, so we'll keep those two. And then we'll sell all the rest of the stuff that I already own. But yeah, we've reached 2,000 locked cars as well now, so I will drop a full-blown garage tour, a in-depth garage tour. Probably will be like an hour long with how big my garage is. So I'm definitely going to need a big old jug of water then, because my throat is going to be gone. From all that speaking. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got like, got to sell all this crap first. And then we can take a little peek at what we got, because we got some pretty solid little cars. We weren't able to snipe a car though, so I'm not able to get the Janetta Aculo, which kind of sucks, but hey, you win some, you lose some. I did get two very nice epics that I am very happy with. Is the cars going to end? Are we almost done? Almost. There we go. That was the last one. But yeah, that was pretty solid, I do have to say. Honestly, very decent, I'd say. No, not even decent. Holy crap, very good. Double epic, brand new. That is a very good 1 million pack opening. I am very happy with that. And yeah, that'll probably be it for this video. So, thank you guys for watching. Join the Discord link in the description. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Do other cool stuff like that. I'm Yellowfin, and goodbye.